Greetings, everyone. I'm Eve Lowry with The Baby's Booty. And today, we're bringing you a tutorial on how to use So What Pro. So What Pro is an embroidery design and monogramming software program. So this tutorial is for those who wish to delve into embroidery. You have a machine already and you already purchased designs, but you wish to make adjustments to the designs or merge designs in order to get the desired embroidered output. That's the purpose of So What Pro, then this video is for you. Now, this particular video today, we're going to discuss how to change your hoop size in So What Pro. Each particular machine that you embroider with has a set size of hoops. You may want to make a design that fits a smaller hoop or adjust the design so that it'll fit a larger hoop. Well, in order to adjust the hoop size, then we can come here in the program. There's three different ways to do that. The first way to do that is to come up here to options. When you click on options up here at the top of the page, click options and drop down to hoops. This is one way to bring up the hoop properties box that you can change your hoop size in. Another way is right here on this handy little icon toolbar. Notice here, this is adjust your hoop size and position. So you can click here it will bring up the same dialog box for hoop properties. Another way, if you notice in the tool tip that popped up, it says adjust hoop size, position, control plus H. So what that means is you hold down the control button on your keyboard and while holding down control on your keyboard, you press the letter H on your keyboard and that also will bring up your hoop properties. That's called a keyboard shortcut. So if you would like to use a keyboard shortcut, that's one way to do it. Again, that's control H on your keyboard. And if you forget, a handy toolbar pops up, control H. Also, you can go up here to tools, options, and select hoops. Another way is to click this option here where it says hoops. Now in the hoop dialog box, hoop properties, there's two tabs. One is hoop size, one is hoop calibration. We don't want this one. So the hoop size, it goes by your machine type, your embroidery type, which we know for a brother, or as I mentioned is PES for me. Also, the size of your hoop, if you're imperial or if you're metric, you can select that here. Whichever you prefer is totally fine as long as you know the size of your hoops. I'm imperial, so I will use inches. Down here, this shows all the different machine brands that offer embroidery machines. So you have Recoma here if you slide over. You slide back this way, there's Janome, there's your, there's your Kenmore, there's your baby lock over here. And notice, once you select them, the standard hoops for that entire brand shows up down here. Now, I'm a brother machine, so I'm going to stick with the brother tab. Notice under the brother tab, there's all these different hoops. So if you know what machine you have, like mine is the PE500, I have the small machine. So my hoop size is standard four by four with my machine. But notice up here, it says all hoops. You can change it. A lot of times they'll have your machine listed up here. Now it doesn't have PE500, but I know the 400 is the same size. So I can select that and look, it narrows it down to the hoops that fit my particular machine. Now, under all hoops, I have four by four. 
but say for instance I've bought the overlap hoop so although my machine is only designed to do 4x4 four four, there is a repositional hoop that I can purchase that will allow me to do four by roughly six and a half. So notice down here, they do offer that. It's called a small overlap hoop. So you just scroll up and down until you find whatever hoop it is that works for you. So now my screen here is already set for four by four, but I wanna move, do uh, an overlap design. So let's go here and I can select this one which is going to go lengthwise and notice now I have the larger hoop and up here it tells you as well 6.77 by 3.94 inches this is the size of my hoop so again we want to change the hoop size how do you do that there's three different ways do you remember all three one way is on your keyboard, a keyboard shortcut. That's hold down the control key and press the, the number H on your keyboard. There it is. There's your hoop properties dialog box. Another way is up here. You can click the little green field hoop and it will pull up a hoop dialog box as well. Also up here under options, you see hoops just click there and it'll bring up the hoop properties there as well and you can scroll and find your hoop as long as you have the right model up here on your tab so if you have baby lock then you need to have the baby lock tab highlighted if you have brother you need to have that hoop selected and then of course your millimeters and your inches we don't touch hoop calibration. And for right now, we're not gonna discuss the hoop insert. So that is how you change your hoop size. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message, put a question down below, and I will try my best to answer your question in a future video. If you have a request for a video, you can leave a message down below this video as well in the comments section. I do appreciate likes on this video. So if you would, if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, click likes. That will also make it easier for you to navigate back to this video if you need for future reference. My name's Eve Lowry with the baby's booty and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.